tell me what happened last night. Hey, we, we came back to the house. I don't know what time it is. I've been up ever since, so I'm a little, I'm a little blurry. Um, but uh, um, we were preparing dinner. We went out to the East Patio, the open porch that faces Kings Highway on one side and Portland Place Drive on the south. And we're sitting down for dinner. Um, we heard all this stuff going on down in Maryland Plaza. And then the mob started to move up Kings Highway. When it got parallel with the Kings Highway gate on Portland Place, um, somebody forced the gate. And I stood up and uh, um, announced that this is private property, go back. I can't remember in detail anymore. Um, I, I went inside, I got a rifle. Uh, and when they, because as soon as I said this is private property, those words enraged the crowd and horde, absolute horde uh, came through the now smashed down gate coming right at the house. I mean, my house, my east patio was 40 feet um, from Portland Place Drive and these people were right up in my face, scared to death. Um, and then um, I stood out there. The only thing we said is this is private property, go back, private property, leave now. Um, at that point, everybody got enraged. There were people wearing body armor. One person pulled out some loaded uh, pistol magazines and clicked them together and said, you were next. Um, we were threatened with our lives, threatened with a house being burned down, my office building being burned down, even our dog's life being threatened. Um, it, was, it was about as bad as it can get. I mean, and there was, you know, I really thought it was storming the Bastille that, that we would be dead and the house would be burned and there was nothing we could do about it. It was a huge and, and frightening crowd and they were, they broke in the gate and they were coming at us. There have been some um, reports on Twitter and people who say they were there that says they're saying the gate was already broken. Yeah, that, that is nonsense. That is absolute nonsense. Um, the gate was not broken. The gate was broken physically in half. Our trustees on Portland Place came out later in the night and chained it all up with an with a automotive tow chain, it looks like. But no, you can talk to the trustees in Portland Place that the gate was not broken in half and laying on the ground one second before they came in to storm the place. Were the protesters on your private property at any point? Everything inside the Portland Place gate is private property. There's nothing public in Portland Place. Being inside that gate is like being in my living room. There is no public anything in Portland Place. It is all private property. And um, you got to appreciate that if there are two or 300 people, I don't know how many there were, we were told that 500 people showed up at, at the Light of Cruces house, which is not on our street, as you know. Um, uh, but uh, how many of them came through Portland Place, I don't know. But it was, it was a big crowd and they were aggressive, wearing body armor um, and, and screaming at us and, and threatening to, to harm us. And, and how they were going to be living in our house after they killed us. And what has happened since last night and those images exploded online? Well, um, I've had to turn the phones off in my office. I had to come over here last night and have the office boarded up because we're getting threats against the building um, and everybody. It is interesting to me that the very people that are asking the, the mayor to resign for doxing people have now put all of my information all over the web everywhere in the world, is there some hypocrisy there? You know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something. Um, but we've had to turn off our telephones here at the office because all my lines have been going continuously since I got here at 1030 last night. Um, I am getting thousands of emails. Um, I have to, I'm going to have to turn off my website. Uh, and it's, um, and it's all, it's been both threatening and encouraging because there have been a number of people who have voiced their support, but there's also been an awful lot of people who have made very direct threats of violence uh, against me and my family. And you said you've received death threats. Oh God, yes, the death threat started within minutes. I mean, I don't know how long this whole event started, but I'll bet we got our first email death threat um, before the, uh, the, the mob moved down Portland Place. When you see the images online of you and your wife on the patio armed now, at, after the fact, what do you think? Well, you know, we were obviously upset. My wife doesn't know anything about guns, but she knows about being scared. And she grabbed a pistol um, and I had a rifle. 
and I was very careful. I didn't point the rifle at anybody. The only thing that stopped the crowd from approaching the house was when I had that rifle and I was holding it. It's the only thing that stemmed the tide. I was, I, um, I can't blame my wife for being terrified and for doing what she could to protect what she thought was her, her life. Um, it was, it was, um, you know, a horrible, horrible event. And to call these people protesters, these are, I've lived in the city of St. Louis for 32 years. We were, you know, urban pioneers back when we bought on Portland Place in 1988. Um, and we have done everything for 32 years to improve the neighborhood place and uh, to keep this historic neighborhood going. Um, and it's very frustrating to see it get targeted. And of course, we've been told by the press and by uh, uh, um, expect us that they wanted to start targeting on um, middle class neighborhoods and upper class neighborhoods and and uh, and bring the, the you know their their revolution outside of the, the the cities. And we got an email from our trustees on right on Thursday saying that they were going to do this on Friday. And we were very worried about it. And when I drove to the office today, there's um, spray painted on one of the boarded up buildings on Maryland Plaza slogan saying that on the on the board up that when we come to F stuff up, this isn't going to stop us. It's a it's a it's a revolution growing up there. Any regrets about what happened? I regret they broke in the gate, I can tell you that. I mean what I I'll say this, there is uh, there's mayhem in the city every night and you never hear about it. There'll be dozens of shootings, multiple deaths. No one seems to care about those black lives. Um, but, but you know, it's it, when it's when there are political political capital to be made from somebody's death. That death matters. No other life matters uh, that I can see. You know, I I do civil rights cases. Right now, I'm representing a young man who was uh, uh, assaulted by the police who's, who's sitting in prison right now um, for being involved in a car accident after which uh, the, the police came and, and assaulted him. It's on video. Um, I'm not some kind of extreme, um, you know, anti-Black Lives Matter guy. I, I do these cases. I, I, I have been doing them for, for decades. I mean, I have on the wall of my conference room, I've got an anti-slavery um, broadsheet, a abolitionist broadsheet from 1832. It's been there as long as I've owned this building. I mean, this, I am not, I am not the enemy of people that really care about black lives. But I am apparently the enemy of the, the terrorists and the, the Marxists that are running this organization. On that note, what is your message to people today? What is your message to people who said they were on Portland Place peacefully protesting and that you incited um, What were they protesting? I'm sorry to catch you off. Go ahead and, and finish that. Sorry. What today, do you have any message for the people who are saying they were peacefully protesting on your street? Okay, first of all, why are they protesting on Portland Place? So the mayor doesn't live there. Um, hang on, my cell phone's going on. Um, the mayor doesn't live there. There is, and when they kick in the gate, when the first thing they do is destroy private property and they storm in angry and shouting and threatening, this isn't a protest, it's a revolution. It's, it's an attempt to inflict terror. That's the definition of terrorism is to use force and violence to terrorize a population. And that's what happened to me last night. What will your family do now with uh, the threats against your life, your home, your business? Well, I'm hoping that the government does seem to protect us, although I, I have my doubts about that. Um, we have to struggle through the best we can. I mean, it's, it, is, it is discouraging. Anything else you'd like to add, Mark? I don't think so. I just, uh, um, I wish that this hadn't happened last night, but I didn't ask for it. I was having dinner. <laughs>